All right, guys, here we go. Episode 131. This week playing as the Michigan State Spartans. And as long as they don't do me like they did Baylor in the bowl game, I'll be all right. Hopefully we can get the win. <laughs> that would be that would be ideal. We're playing at home, so that should definitely help. Plus, I have a lot of people visiting this week, which is perfect. Absolutely perfect. They got the ball, start the game, hand it off to Holmes, breaks the tackle. And, yeah, should have been tackled for a loss. Maybe a little to no gain. 17 yards later, we bring him down. Hand him off, second and 10. Makes me miss, makes me miss. Whiff again. Horrible tackling on my part and the computer's part. And first and goal. Holding the first and second down, third goal. Runs up the middle. Bam, get off me, fool. Get thrown with one arm about two, three yards back because you're a wuss. And score a touchdown. That's exactly what just happened. Go a little triple option. I get the ball. Buckley with a nice spin move. And we get 15 yards. I mean, we can run the ball pretty good, too. Little read option. Thorson. Al Alvidi got hurt. And my backup comes in 13 yards later. Get a touchdown. Tie it right back up. 7-7. Seven to seven. I'm happy with that. We get the ball again. End of the, end of the first quarter. Dump off to Porter. Nice spin move between two defenders. This is up first and goal. Very next play. Hand off to Buckley. Cut it outside. Get some good blocks downfield. Give me that touchdown. 100 yards in the first quarter. That's how good we've been running the ball this game. And yeah, I'm very happy about it. They got the ball now. Third and 19. Almost get the sack. He pulls a Jameis Winston. Fumbles it. And we scoop and score just like Oregon did. Yeah. I don't know what happened. But he looks silly. So we're up 21-7 to in the first quarter. Looking pretty good. But they're not done. Second quarter driving. Nice little play. It takes three dudes to bring him down. First and 10. Drop back to pass. Almost get the sack. Don't. Watkins. Uh, he backs off 15 yards for some reason on man-to-man. -man. And can't make the tackle, so they score. Bring it within seven. And they get the ball back again. We don't do anything. Or we get a field goal. And they get the first down, second one. Nice little dump off pass. It sets them up all right. Next play, first and ten. Has all day to throw, literally. Ooh, missed the sack. Whiff, whiff. And quarterback scrambles for the touchdown. Wow. Should have been a sack. Ended up being a touchdown. That was bad. Second and 15, hand off to Buckley. Look at those blocks downfield. Spin move gets him twisted. Come on, Buckley, go, go, go. Be fast enough. No, not quite fast enough, but it got it, it gets, it gets the job done. It gets the job done. Huge gain. I'm happy with that. First and 10, little play action pass. Dumb it off the porter. Drew rumbles and stumbles and doesn't fumble, but he gets in the end zone for the touchdown. Four for five passes. Yeah, buddy. Fourth and five right here. We're up 31-21 in the second quarter. High scoring game. They fake it. They fake it. I'm hell. I stayed back deep. Came up. Trying to make a tackle. I get stiffed arm again. I don't know what the computer's deal is about stiff arm. Maybe me, but they're good at what they do. So we throw it off to Holland. First and goal. And right before the end of the first half, we score again with Buckley. <laughs> We're up 38-21 to at half. My gosh, dude. I don't know where this offensive explosion came from, but I'm definitely happy for it. We absolutely need that. Looking at some stats, man, we're we're not doing much better than they are. I mean, that's like a ten point or ten yard difference. They've had a time position twice as long as we've had, and we're dominating this game, 38-21. So we get the ball start second half, dump it off to Siegel. Nice little first down gain. Alvidi keeps it, and look at the block downfield. Yes, sir. Touchdown. Nice little read option. 23 yards later, and we're just gonna pile on to our score. But this is what we do. We get the ball again, first and ten. Dump it off to Holland. Over the top of everybody and before the corner and safety. And off the buckling a read option. We score again. We're just on a just on a rampage, man. <laughs> I don't know what my, my offense ate. They ate their Wheaties or something. I don't know. We came out, scored twice, got the ball back again. Drop back pass, don't went off the porter for a nice little nice little first down game. First and goal. Have all day to throw it. Have all day to throw it. Take off instead. Get chased by everybody with a nice little juke move for the touchdown on Alvini again. We're at 59-21, 24. They kicked the field goal. That's a great game. Fourth and two. They go for it and absolutely go nowhere. They went for it, I think, three times on fourth down. So it's not looking good. Drop back the pass. Nobody was over Porter. I was hitting that button the whole time. And we ended up getting to him anyways for the touchdown. Throwing two incomplete passes at this point. Up 65, 20, 66, 24. Fourth and 11. They're going for it again. The third time this game. Throws it over the top. Has the guy. Makes a diving drop. Makes a diving drop. Oh, he was open. He had it. Just couldn't hang on to it. So we get the ball back again. First and 10, drop back the pass, dump it off to Porter with the juke move. Stand up, come on, Porter, go. Dang it, step out of bounds or get tackled. Uh, set this up all right, though. Second and three, run up the middle again for another touchdown. School record, four touchdowns, rushing touchdowns in the game. We're doing pretty good. Third and 19, Connor has all day to throw it. Da lobs it right to Fowler, who says, give me that ball. Tries to return this one, nice little spin move, and oh, had blockers out in front, just not enough people blocking the people on the side. But that's all right, I mean, we get the turnover. And we're already up 73-24, so we're just going to make a statement right here. Go up 80-24. This is my highest scoring game in a long time. 
a long time, man. We ended up getting the win, beat a top 25 team, and I was playing at home with a lot of people visiting. I'll be the player of the game, 29 for 32, 380 yards, 12 carries, 59 yards, five total touchdowns. Like I'm saying, dude, my offense was on a roll this game, running the ball, passing the ball, just working out great. Plus, with the people visiting, I had to complete my objectives anyways. So it worked out pretty good. Games around the country, Baylor ends up winning, and that's the only one that's ranked. You know, the stats, yeah, we ended up dominating this game, like over 600 yards of offense. Just offense, not total yards. It's a pretty good game. LVD, 380 yards. Um, my left end had a couple of tackles and sacks, which is very nice. We get the win, see how everybody else did. We'll be right back with the advance. All right, just got done showing the highlights from the game against Michigan State. End up winning pretty good, 83-24. A huge game for us. And like I said during that, that part, I think that's the most points I've put up all year, which is very nice. Very nice indeed. See how everybody else did. Penn State in had a bye week. Iowa Hawkeyes. Yeah, wins 24-14. NC State wins 63-57. Akron won 35-24. Cincinnati loses 58-41. Washington State. Yeah, uh, lost 2-21. Missouri loses 42-23. Pitt won 48-34. Mid-Tennessee State wins 73-38. If you want to see the Oklahoma State score, make sure you check out the Italians channel. Links in the description. So make sure you go check that out. Give me a good video. If you want to watch it. And we'll be right back with the advance. All right, let's get done with the advance this week. I play against the Illinois Fighting Illini, and I plan hopefully to have another week like last week because last year the computer beat me down hard. And I want to get revenge. Since I'm playing at home, that would be exceptional. So hopefully we can get this rivalry game in in the wind column. Because like I said, they they did me dirty last year and I want to get revenge. See everybody else plays? Penn State plays Iowa. Wait, wait, Indiana. I was like, whoa, <laughs> Indiana, my bad. Iowa plays Nebraska. NC State's got a bye week. Akron plays Eastern Michigan. Cincinnati plays Rutgers. Washington State plays Washington. Missouri plays Texas A&M. Pitt plays Miami. Mid-Tennessee State plays Marshall. And Oklahoma State plays TCU. Used to be a user. Um, he's having surgery, so I won't be able to play. So I had to let him go. So I'm going to add in the next person. Um, but that's the reason why he's no longer in the dynasty. Just a heads up there. Check out top 25. Let's see what's going on there. And we got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, buddy. And then Pitt is number 10. I'm number 11. We got Akron. Alabama went from 9 to 19. Holy mackerel. Anybody else ranked? Uh, Mid-Tennessee State's almost there. And TCU was, but not there anymore. Check out the BCS. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Pitt is 8, and I'm 10. So we have a lot of people in the top 10. Golly, Akron. And then that's it. Let's go ahead and check out the conference standings real quick. Just because it's kind of important. Important. I was only lost. I think was the Penn State. I know they beat me, so they are six and one in conference. Uh, let's check out. Let's just do conference USA overall. Mid Tennessee State sitting pretty good at the top there in the MAC. Akron sitting at the top there. Mountain West. I don't think anybody's over there. Pac-12. Washington State not doing not doing so hot over there. But it's a tough conference. SEC Missouri leading the way. Sunbelt, nobody. ACC, we got NC State and Pitt. Are they in the same? Oh, they're in the opposite, so they're going to have to play each other. Could be an interesting test right there. And the American Cincinnati doing all right. Big 12, Oklahoma State leading the pack. And they play Oklahoma last game of the season. So that's going to be to decide who who takes the conference right there. It's going to be a doozy last game of the regular season, too. Big 10, Penn State, Iowa, and then myself. Uh, that can be a rematch. They played last. No, they didn't play last year. Last year was Indiana, I'm pretty sure, in Iowa. Uh, I know Iowa played last year because he beat me last year too. That's gonna be a doozy. See what's going on there. And I think we're sitting up pretty good to end the season. Um, hopefully, you guys aren't too upset with me for not advancing that often. But with Christmas and a new year, like I said, I was super busy the past two weeks, um, and I've plus work full time, so. I uh, wasn't like I was off of school and was sitting around doing nothing. Um, I was super busy. Not that y'all were sitting around not doing anything, but if I can if I'm not home to advance it, there's nothing I can do about it. So that's why there was a delay. But we're back on our three three day a week schedule. Yeah, three days advance schedule until 
the end of the bowl season, which we're week 14, 15, and then I think, I think that's it. I think we're done. But as of right now, we are on week 14. That's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see y'all next time.